On and we've decided we're going to have some gnocchi with um, some cheese, bacon and sautéed mushrooms and uh, I've got luckily a twin hub so I'm looking forward to this. So let's get started. So I've got my trusty fry light, I'm going to just spray it into my frying pan. So since the kettle's already boiled I may as well just start with the gnocchi first. So I've got my larger frying pan. So we need to cook that for a couple of minutes and fry our onion, mushroom and bacon. So I'm being really lazy here. I've trimmed off all the fat off the bacon. I've just chopped it up along with the vegetables, thrown it all in. Normally in my kitchen, I'd probably cook the uh, bacon first, but I just don't want to mess about. And uh, I'm just doing it a very lazy way. I'm just doing that until everything's cooked. So now's the time to start thinking about what spices we're gonna put in. I'm thinking garlic powder and paprika. And this is my cool spice box because I didn't want to leave any really tasty flavours behind, particularly if I knew something would complement a meal really well. And I have ginger, ooh, garlic and herb seasoning. I think that'd be really nice. Paprika, dried mixed herbs. And I think that's going to come in really handy, which is grated Parmesan cheese, which you don't have to put in the fridge. So that's perfect for, for here. So I think it's time to add some seasoning. So we're gonna add some salt and pepper and I'm gonna use some OXO garlic and herb seasoning and a dash of paprika. And just give it a very good stir. So I've drained the gnocchi and I'm just gonna pour the uh, bacon mixture into the bigger pan. And then I'm just adding half a tub of Philadelphia lightest cheese. That's about 90 grams. So I'm just going to stir that in a bit, as much as I possibly can with one uh, spatula. Oh, that smells beautiful. And I'm just going to add two tablespoons of milk to thin it out. And that's it, it's ready to serve and we can add some sprinkle of cheese on top. Mm. Love the dumpling texture. Sometimes, maybe sometimes it's healthy. I'm not giving up on us. I won't. You already did. What is it? Well, your birthday's coming up and you've never let us celebrate it and I was hoping... Concentrated vanilla um, syrup. Mwah. I'm not going to deny, last night was absolutely bitterly cold. We didn't wake up to any frost on the windows, but uh, we had to sleep in our clothes. It was so freezing and each of us were hogging the duvet with an extra blanket. So to warm ourselves up this morning, we're gonna have two Quaker oats, um, porridge oats with golden syrup in sachets, and all you have to do is just pour some milk in it and uh, pour it straight into the pan. You don't have to measure anything. Porridge is one of my favorite breakfasts in the morning, and I really like how there's less mess with these sachets. Or we'd probably keep going to McDonald's and be really naughty, and that's obviously defeating the purpose as to why we bought a kitchenette for our camper van. Thank you. 
So we're now at Taunton Go Outdoors with a big shopping list to get a few new cool things to go with our new kitchenette. We're about to pop into Asda to get something for dinner and tea. What would you like? Because I've got down on my list full English breakfast, well, all day breakfast, and possibly some minced meat for some bolognese. What do you reckon? <laughs> if you've been here at the beginning, you could have seen me chopping up the onions. Yeah. <laughs> There's no compromising when you go shopping with your fella. Chocolate, already made ragu. Uh, it looks like I'm not doing much cooking at all. <gasps> this is cool. Dinky. Oh, I'm doing that wrong. God, this is weird. They've got like. I hope this actually keeps them. They've got little prongs inside that I think might actually damage them. So we've now pulled up at Doniford Bay in Watchit, one of our favourite camping spots. And for lunch we're having a sausage, bacon and eggs. And I've done a load of prep for our ragu later, chopping all the vegetables. Watch it. So if you can see the grey thing in the middle, that is where Kevin McLeod actually built his um, man-made type shed thing. And uh, I've heard from a local today that the hammock that he built is actually now in storage and the council are having arguments to find out what they're going to do with it. They want to get rid of it. And uh, yeah, that's all I've heard. I thought that was pretty cool. It's just popped on the radio while we're camping in Watch It. We're in the camper, of course. We know we're on holiday when we hear your voice. That is seductive chat, Vicky. Vicky's in uh, from Warwickshire as a rule. We're just about to cook Swedish, and, and you've said here, Swedish metals in our new mobile kitchenette. I'm imagining Swedish metals be quite chewy. Oh, shut up doing that. I can't help it. It's that budgie. Um, obviously, it should be meatballs, I think. But how it's come out as metals, <laughs> dog and me knows. Anyway, everything about that I like. Stay warm tonight. It's a bit nippy, isn't it? So, it's so cold. I think it's time we need to wrap up and um, watch some good telly. Bedtime hot chocolate. I'm looking forward to that. 